Task Force A cuts through the Java Sea and is now approximately 12 hours away from Singapore. The first order of business will to be unload all of the troops and supply that crowd the decks of the destroyers and light cruisers. Once that is accomplished, the task force will engage Japanese forces in the area, trying to inflict as much damage on the Japanese reinforcement efforts to the Dutch East Indies. One major concern is Japanese air power. Due to attrition, our air forces near Singapore are for all intensive purposes destroyed at the moment. For the time being, Task Force A will patrol the waters near Singapore at night and retreat towards friendly air cover near Java during the day. It would be a disaster if we were to lose any major warships now. It's already hard enough to downplay the situation in the Dutch East Indies to the public. The loss of a major warship would be a catastrophe. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to our War on the Sea series with the Abdicom mod. Task Force A has finally made it to Singapore under the cover of night. It's just past midnight, about an hour past midnight here. And we are going to unload all of our cargo in Singapore. I doubt it'll be enough to turn the tide here, but it will at least be something and will hopefully help the situation. Let's unload all of our cargo. Okay, we are not close enough. Let's keep going. We're going to go past Singapore, unload, and then patrol out here for a couple of hours before heading back south towards Java, just so that way we don't get attacked by Japanese air cover. Let's unload all of our cargo. There we go. Let's take a look at this. Okay. The situation is actually, that's actually much better than I anticipated. So we now have 3,780 troops on Singapore and 1,416 supply. That is pretty darn good. Now we need to really bring in fuel and more supply. I think we have enough manpower for the time being. We just have to keep hitting Japanese uh, merchant ships. That's the big thing. We want the fuel so that way we can replenish our air forces on Singapore itself. Uh, because they've pretty much been entirely annihilated <laughs> thanks to the Japanese bombardment. And also we have been conducting attack runs on Japanese task forces, which are getting close. All right. Task Force A, head out this way, honestly. And then just head out and start moving south. We'll have them patrol out here, we'll four hours. No, honestly, yeah, just head out and start heading south. The last thing I want is to get attacked by Japanese aircraft because this is the Japanese Western, it looks like Japanese Western forces. This is a level five airfield and port. So, and that is so close to Singapore, um, which is unfortunate for us. That's going to make things kind of difficult. So I do not want to lose a ship. There were multiple Japanese task forces operating in the Java Sea. Additionally, this task force slipped past a very small little Japanese flotilla consisting of like a light cruiser and two destroyers. That would be the perfect target for us. I really want to pick and choose my battles here, especially considering we only have nine command points. We really can't afford to lose ships at this point. Okay, we have our ships swapped around. We have Exeter leading in the number one position, Hobart, Houston in the five position there, and then Java in seven. The rest are destroyers. We have all of our destroyers on one side. I'm just, we're gonna split these up right off the bat. I'm going to have a nine break to the right and come around searching with sonar because, again, I am concerned that it is a Japanese submarine, but I'm not entirely convinced it is. Let's go. Oh my gosh, this is just so dangerous. This area here where we are fighting, it's shallow, not a lot of room to maneuver. Uh, Japanese torpedoes are going to be absolutely deadly here. So we are going to go through... Honestly, there's a way to do this. Switch on radar for all of our units here. Wow, it's been a while since I fought a surface battle. Switch on radar. Switch on sonar. Turn off fire at will. Searchlights. Do not use searchlights right off the bat. Do not want that. Okay. You're going to break off, and you are going to head towards the right. I'm going to have these guys 
It looks like two, four, six, and eight. Two, four, six, and eight. They're going to break formation and form up. This will be a whole nother group. And you are going to head this way. And speed up to a speed of 28 knots. And we will maintain 23 knots for our main battle line. Let's begin. All right, here we go. Radar's on. Let's scan this horizon out here. Trees. Hey, I don't see any... Okay, that's worrisome that it's a sub. Keep checking. All right, get ready to break formation. Okay, vampire, reduce speed. Reduce speed. All of these ships need to reduce speed. Knowing our luck, reduce speed to six knots. Knowing our luck, what are those? Okay, I'm looking for torpedo wakes. Oh gosh, I do not like this. Please find the sub, if it is a sub. I feel like it's gotta be a submarine at this point. Can leave in 200 seconds. Okay, it's gotta be a sub. Okay, begin evasive maneuvers, right full rudder. We're going to have all of these ships start breaking. Torpedoes in the water. Torpedoes in the water. Okay. All right, left full rudder. Increase speed. Exeter. Rudder amidships, all ahead flank. Hobart. Left full rudder. Come left, come left, come left. And then the rest of the battle line is going to turn that way. Increase speed, 26 knots. Go find this sub. Increase speed, 22 knots. Go find them. Okay, let's see here. Exeter. Okay, you're moving out of the way. Good. Obar, come on, baby. All right. Slight turn to port, please. I think we're clear. Of course it was a sub. Okay, rudder amidships. Exeter, you're clear. Good. Perfect. Okay. Oh my... What? Another salvo? Oh my goodness. Okay, Exeter's the only one in danger here. Electra, come around. I was about to say, knowing my luck, the Japanese sub would be on the starboard side of the task force here. Okay, we are going to have Vampire, Thanet, and Encounter pursue the Japanese sub. Left full rudder. Oh, rudder midships. Okay, that was, that was too close for comfort. Okay, now Exeter, Hobart, Houston. Let's avoid a collision. All stop, reverse, reverse, reverse. Okay, it's dark, it's night. Thankfully our destroyers are nice and nimble. Okay, and we are going to have all of our ships, which don't need to be involved in the hunt, get out of the area. We're gonna do some reorganization. Vampire, reduce speed to seven knots, start searching. Hobart and Exeter are getting out of here. Encounter, get out of here. Java's getting out of here. Perfect. All right, find the subs. Vampire has established contact on a Japanese sub. It's going to maintain contact. Then it's going to move in and, and, and let's see, Encounter. You go ahead and move in this way as well. Bring up 31 knots, go get them. Okay, one Japanese sub. I have a feeling there's two of them here. Thanet's going to maintain contact, or Vampire's going to maintain contact as Thanet moves in and gets a depth charge run ready. Prepare our ash cans. We'll drop three patterns, five seconds spacing. 
begin targeting number one and build up a solution. Vampire target number one as well. Looks like the sub is at 56 meters. Thanet is closing in and getting ready to begin her attack run. We're going to have Vampire slow down to around three knots and maintain contact here. Thanet, let's bring up 12 knots, please, and begin our approach. The sub is not moving quickly at all. However, I would prefer to approach from the bow. And we also have Encounter rushing in. Let's reduce speed. We'll have Encounter come around this way. She'll play the long game here, but yeah, go back up to 21 knots. All right, Thanet, left full rudder, come around. And this sub is going to be ours. We are using active sonar. We definitely have contact. What's our solution? 56%. I'm not going to go and identify the sub because there's no way our crews would be able to identify exactly what type of sub it is. Unless it happens to surface or something. All right, left full rudder coming around. I was... I was concerned we were encountering a surface group up here. Um, it would be cool if we did encounter a surface... Like, this would be an awesome place to have a fight. Like, it wouldn't, you know, go super well. <laughs> I don't think. Um, but it would be certainly cinematic and exciting, if nothing else. All right, then it's swinging around town. Here's hoping one depth charge run will be enough to finish her off. I don't want to use a whole lot of ash cans here. And one thing we have to keep in mind is ammunition on our heavy cruisers. Australia is a long ways away. So rearming our ships is going to be kind of difficult, kind of tedious. So we want to, again, pick and choose our battles, sink what we can, you know, disengage tactically instead of just going in and sinking everything. Okay, encounters coming around. I want you to come around this way, sir. Please and thank you. Okay, we can leave the combat area, but I also wonder how many torpedoes did this guy fire? Two, four, six, 12. How's that? Is there another sub out here? That was my first thought. There were two Japanese submarines out here. Hey, rudder amidships. There, oh my gosh. <laughs> there she is, okay. All right, there are two Japanese submarines. Got it. All right, closing in on one. Let's give some right rudder here. There's our submarine friend. Coming around, lined up nicely. Make sure we don't collide with encounter. I think we'll be fine. Let's see. Okay, all everyone else is leaving the area. Who needs to be leaving the area? Okay, lined up nicely. We're just doing this because it's a little more cinematic. And it looks like the sub is actually reversing. Rudder amidships, get ready to roll. Let's see our destroyer passing right over the top here. The cool looking sub. The model looks pretty nice, I will admit. All right. All right. And let's go ahead and roll ash cans. Fire one. Damn it. Okay. Charge is exploding. There we go. Absolutely annihilated. I think that is all she wrote for that particular submarine. Oh my goodness. Looks like she's settling on the bottom. Okay, Thanet's going to come around to starboard, maintain contact. Let's begin our attack run on sub two. Target her. We lost contact. Submarine lost, bearing 319. All right, reduce speed, five knots. Secure active sonar, listen on hydrophone, see if you can pick her up. We'll have Thanet swing around. Encounter is going to engage sub two. Which seems to be cavitating. She's she's running for it. Yeah, speed six knots. Understandable. Probably a good move on her part. Let's reduce speed to ten knots and begin our attack run. 
ash cans. We'll, we'll do the same setup. That should be more than enough to send that one to the bottom. I, I am curious. Report. Critical damage, critical flooding. We just absolutely lost contact on her. Interesting. Well, here's hoping Thanet will be able to swing around and re-encounter her. Let's increase speed to 10 knots. Encounters coming around towards subcontact number two. We have re-encountered uh, the first contact. Thanet is going to come back around and finish the job. Head this way. Encounters closing in on the other contact. Vampire's going to pretty much just all stop. All stop. Just sit still. Use your active sonar. Maintain contact with the sub. While Thanet and Encounter do the killing. Encounter is closing in on the sub. Let's increase speed to 13 knots and begin our attack run here. It looks like the submarine's actually trying to wiggle around and evade, which is exciting. <laughs> it's cool to actually see them doing that. Then it's coming around. Express is finally coming in as well. Can move in to try to finish off contact number one. And encounter increased speed because this Japanese sub, oh, she's moving at five knots. All right, we're gonna cut right over the top of her here. It looks like, looking pretty darn good. Let's prepare, let's drop four patterns here. Left full rudder. Swing our stern around over the target. Fire. There we go, rolling charges. Rudder midships. Now let's take a look at our front here. There we go, one. There we go, impact. That uh, looks bad. Ew. That's another just absolute direct hit. Propulsion is offline by the looks of things. Didn't manage to go right over the top of her here, but that's another very damaged Japanese submarine. I'm honestly impressed. Number one is just sitting here on the bottom, so I think we just really need to deliver a killing blow. This looks like a dead sub. If you ask me, we just got the report that contact number one is sinking. So that is one confirmed kill. We didn't even have to drop more depth charges on her. It just took a little while. And it looks like number two is settling on the bottom here. So we are going to attempt to drop more charges right on top of her. For a second, I thought she was trying to blow ballast, but that does not seem to be the case. So we are going to hit the stationary target. Should be nice and easy. We'll have encounter swing around and finish the job. Well, there we have it. Encounter just commenced a death charge run on sub number two, and she is going down. That is two enemy subs sunk. Let's go ahead and leave. And, okay, two command points. So one command point apiece, 4,667 tons sent down to the bottom. We are going to maintain this formation because this is kind of the battle formation I want. I want to have a main battle line and then a line for our destroyers. But... That was exciting. That was certainly interesting. I was definitely worried it was going to be a surface task force, um, which honestly probably would have been fun. Anyway, let's get the heck out of here and we will see what happens next. Okay, I think I have a new mission in mind for Task Force A. Looking at the situation here, Palembang is looking pretty dire. We definitely need more supply and more troops. I'm thinking of sending a convoy here to Batvia and in getting some more troops and bringing them up there i'm wondering if there's a port there's a port here with quite a bit of supply we're probably going to lose this oh my gosh yeah the logistics situation here is pretty darn rough we have 11 command points i was going to try to save them until we could get some more freighters hmm only 17 supply. We have 360 supply here. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Task Force A, we're going to break them up just a little bit. 
We'll have Java and Ex Java and Express. They are going to split off. Split group. They are going to head right here. And the rest of Task Force A is going to head towards Sarabaya and try to... Well, what's going on up here? Uh, the situation is not good either. What we really need is just supply in the area. You know what? Let's do it. We have 200 supply here. 200 engineering and 200 fuel. Okay, let's get a freighter. Cost 10 points. Cameron class merchant. Carry 10,000 tons. I can get... Is there any cheaper... Cheaper alternatives would be... Would be nice. For a merchant ship. I could just get destroyers. Okay, it looks like uh, cheaper alternatives are... Non-existent. Um... Honestly, destroyers may just be our best bet here. Or supply. Alright, new C. I need the cheapest. I need the cheapest destroyer we can get. Clemson class, five points. We can get two of these bad boys. Alright, let's do it. One and two. Alright, Paul Jones and Whipple. Done. <laughs> Load these guys up. Manage cargo. All right, supply. 100 supply on Paul Jones and 100 on Whipple. All right. And they are going to... Actually, you know what? Task Force 20. Manage cargo. Let's unload that supply and let's take 150 troops. I kind of wish I could do half and half. I honestly yeah that's fine 150 troops should definitely turn the balance here Task Force 20 you are going to head towards Dimpasar I'm probably butchering that and unload that there to help defend this we don't want to lose it we want to hold on to what we can I'm honestly Honestly, I'm thinking evacuating our troops from Borneo is a good idea because I don't, we don't need to hold it and it's, you know what, we might as well just get rid of it for the time being and save these 479 men. So that's what we're going to do. The rest of Task Force A will evac these men and bring them to Palembang. Okay, the Task Force with Java and Express have reached Batvia and they are now heading back towards Palembang and they have some troops and supply. They only have 190 supply. They do have around 200 more troops here though, so that should certainly help. The remainder of Task Force A is approaching Borneo and Sarabaya is looking. I'm just trying to think where we should reshuffle our troops. We have three places which are current, well four, but we're going to evacuate one. Yeah, Singapore is the one we really wanna hold on to and start rebuilding. But Palembang is also pretty high up on the list. We definitely do not want to lose our base in Sumatra. There are multiple Japanese aircraft which have overflown Java and Exeter here. We need to redirect Task Force A. Um, I think there's a Japanese task force to the south of Task Force 19 here. So we are going to try to have them rendezvous here because I am scared now. I am now scared. <laughs> New air. Let's get hurricanes up. No payload, please. And let's start searching this area here. Try to follow these scouts back home. Because, I mean, there's no Japanese airbase over here. There's got to be something. Definitely something. Thankfully, it seems like they're pretty far away. Task Force A, head down here, please. Try to intercept them. They're eight hours away, which is unfortunate. It's amazing how just large the Java Sea is. 
Let's see what we're dealing with. And another float plane to the northeast. All right. Follow them home. Let's see what we're dealing with. Ten ships. Oh my goodness. That's definitely it. One battle cruiser. One heavy cruiser. Um, ignore that. These guys found them. New air. Okay, torpedoes. We have eight of these aircraft which can carry them. Head up here. Let's see, new air, M139s. One 1,600 pound armor piercing bomb. Head over there. You know what? We'll use Task Force 19 as bait. Come and, come and get us. Okay, our aircraft are in the area. Let's see what's happening. We're going to have these guys. Oh my gosh, and they're all they're all separate here. Cool. Um, let's line them all up and drop down to 20 meters. Head around this way, and let's take a look what we're dealing with here. Uh, Takao here. Miyoko. Miyoko. And then a bunch of light stuff. Okay, let's try to hit the heavy cruisers. I think... I think we could fight this. If we just absolutely crush a couple of these heavy cruisers right now, this this task force is ours. Okay, begin dropping down. We need to bomb low. We're going to risk our aircraft for this one. This is a fight we can win. Drop down. And you are going to head for, looks like this Miyoko. Um, or the Takao, which one? It doesn't matter, both of them. We'll have one formation hit one and one hit the other. Same with these Hudsons. Oh my gosh, and this is a nightmare to manage. <laughs> uh, form up, break, form up. Okay, they can't be in a formation, cool. Head this way. Wow, that's... I'm not gonna lie. That's kind of obnoxious. Okay, so let's let's bring all of these little guys around and have all of you drop down to a you know torpedo bombing altitude here. You're dropping down, you drop down, and you drop down. Thank you. Alright. Hudsons are coming around. Drop down, please. These Hudsons need to drop down as well. All right, here we go. This is where the fun begins. Hit number one in the formation. All of you. There we go. You hit number two. Break and engage. Hudsons are hitting the deck. Turn towards target. These Hudsons are coming in. Go for... You know what? Your best bet's probably this one over here. Number one. That'll provide you with the best angle, I think, for now. Let's check these guys out. Godspeed. Here we go. Come on. We need the hits. Oh boy, that's a lot of flack. Come on, come on, come on. Get them. There we go. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Perfect. That was nice. This one, oh my goodness, dud bomb. That's a hit though. These Hudsons. You know what? Hit this one. Break formation and hit them. Alright, come on. Oh my gosh, we lost two Hudsons like that. Ouch. There we go. Bombs miss there. That Hudson run was 
Not good. These Hudsons can swing around. Try to hit them. You know what? Okay. Uh, those Hudson runs were not ideal. All right, get out of here. Get out of here. Run away. And you're, you're on fire. Perfect. Okay, so we have two Japanese heavy cruisers here, which are... Looks like one and two are pretty heavily damaged. Okay, break off. Now it's time to torpedo them. I mean, that is two pretty heavily damaged heavy cruisers. Head this way. We'll play this slow. Because if they're borderline dead in the water, that's, that's easy prey for us. Especially this one. I think this one can definitely be sunk. She is taking on a lot of water in the stern. Also, there are four heavy cruisers. I guess I miscounted here. Two Miyokos? One. Takao. Miyoko. Takao. So there's two Miyokos, two Takaos. Got it. Okay. Well, regardless, this certainly helps our odds. Here we go. We're approaching the heavy cruisers here. We have half of them attacking number four, and then half of them attacking number two. I'm hoping we can completely finish off two. She's moving rather slowly. And if any uh, torpedoes happen to miss, maybe they'll slam into one of these other Japanese warships in the area. Um, these guys are leaving the combat area. Good. I'm going to actually make sure they turn around before they slam into a mountain. Because that would not be good. So all of these guys... Let's head over this way, please. All right, here we go. Starting to take flak yet? No, not yet. But gosh, the Japanese ships are, of course, turning. Oh, man. That was too late. We're already committed. Let's go get them. Not the best angles here. That's okay. We'll have to deal with it. Honestly, they're all kind of clumped together too, which is which is nice. And this one's turning hard to starboard. Love to see it. Come on, drop, 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 drop. Please drop. There we go. Torpedo away. Break. Okay, while well, you're shot down. That's our one torpedo away. Okay, break left. Get out of here. Break. Two torpedoes in the water. Okay, leave, leave, leave. These guys are moving in on this one, which, oh man. Okay, come left. There we go. Now I was trying to, number four might get hit. There we go, two impacts there. One impact on a completely different ship. Okay, get out of here. This is, oh my gosh, if this hits, that would be glorious. Right on the snoot doesn't well we might get lucky oh my gosh let's go okay try to drop here give me a good drop there we go torpedo away all right get out of here get out of here before you're all shot down run run for the hills okay wow that was shockingly successful uh we lost a lot of aircraft but this japanese task force is not looking good. Oh my gosh, please. Give me that. Give me this, too. That would be nice. Looks like it's just going to miss. Aircraft splash down here. This one's about to get smacked. Oh my gosh. Every single heavy cruiser in the task force has now been damaged. Wow. Two of them look rough. This one received one torpedo hit, if I'm... Let me see the report here. Uh-oh. Okay. Heavy, moderate, moderate. Oh, my gosh. Okay. We did not inflict as much damage as I thought, unfortunately. This one's heavily damaged, though. Oh, man. Well, that's unfortunate. This thing looks like it's in horrible shape. Oh, well. Um, Are we about to witness a collision here? That would be quite unfortunate. Please collide. Oh! <laughs> Oopsies. Um, all right. Well, this is definitely a dark day for this Japanese task force. 
I think we actually have supply on this home airfield as well, so we should be able to replenish these aircraft and hit them again and again and again. Task Force A is going to continue to pursue. I think this is a task force we can inflict some serious damage on. Well, folks, that is going to do it for today's episode. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.